we'll first need some data to work with. So let's go through and create some sample data for this section. Let's say we have a weather station. It provides several values in a CSV log line every five minutes, such as temperature, wind speed, and rainfall. And we want to store this data in Elasticsearch. Here's a sample of the data. Each of the four lines after the headers represents a reading from the weather station. We have four readings, each with data for metrics being recorded. If we were inserting these readings into a single table in a relational database, you create a table with columns for timestamp, station ID, etc., then insert the rows. For Elasticsearch to understand this data, each line needs to be transformed into a document, which is structured data in JSON format. Let's transform the first row. This is standard JSON with seven key value pairs, so nothing in this JSON is specific to Elasticsearch. What is different, however, is some of the terminology used. I've already mentioned that this is called a document instead of a JavaScript or a JSON object. The key value pairs are called fields. The key is the field name, and the value for that key is the field value. There are only a couple of requirements for a document. It must be valid JSON and it must contain at least one field. A general tip is that the field value should always be properly encoded. If the value is a numeric, don't wrap it in quotes. If it's a decimal number, always add the decimal component, even if it's 0 0.0. We'll see why this is important in the next section on mappings. This document is a good starting point and Elasticsearch is able to accept this document as is. At the moment though, we have no index to store the document in and we don't know where to send it. The documents are stored in an index or more precisely an index is shards and we haven't created an index yet. Now this isn't a problem. We can tell Elasticsearch to store a document in an index and Elasticsearch will create the index for us automatically if it doesn't already exist. To store the document in an index, we use the right combination of HTTP verb, path, and resource. Different combinations of verb and resource allow different operation types, such as index, create, update, and delete. Operation type is a term used throughout Elasticsearch, mostly shortened to op underscore type or underscore op underscore type. Let's have a look at the different operation types available, starting with create, to create the document in a new index.